by Abu Darda رضي الله عنه وأرضاه Abu Darda said that the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam told me that the most weighty thing, the heaviest thing that will go on your scale of deeds on the day of judgment is your good manners. He said the most heavy thing, think about this now, the most heavy thing that will be placed upon your scale on the day of judgment will be your good manners. Not all of those times you stood in Salah, not all of those nights you spent in the Qiyam, not all of those days that you spent fasting, not the Sadaqah that you gave. No, what is the heaviest thing that will be on your scale is your Akhlaq. And if it is the heaviest thing that will go on your good scales is your good manners, then of course the heaviest thing that can be placed on your bad scale of bad deeds of Amal will be bad manners. Subhanallah, the heaviest thing. So ask yourself, if the heaviest thing that will be placed on my scale on the day of judgment is my character, how much time should I spend on my character? How much time should you spend on your character if it's the most heavy thing that will be placed on your scales? Apparently you should spend a lot of time, a majority of your time on your akhlaq. And you will see today, by the end of this insha'Allah, why your character is the most important thing about you. Whether it is good or bad. Also, collected by Imam Bukhari in his Adab al-Murfayad, and also collected by Imam Ahmad, Abu Huraira radiallahu an says, I heard Abu al-Qasim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam say, the best among you, khayrukum, the best among you are those who have the best manners. The best of you are those who have the best manners. And whenever the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam began something by saying, khayrukum, the best of you, then it has strong importance. He said, the best of you are those who have the best manners. Also, we see in a hadith collected by Tabarani, uh, and and Shaykh al Abani rahimahullah ta'ala also authenticated this hadith. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, The most beloved of Allah's servants, the most beloved of Allah's servants, and this is uh, by Abu Huraira again, the most beloved of Allah's slaves are those who have good manners. The most beloved to Allah Azza wa the person whom Allah loves the most amongst us is the person who has the best akhlaq. Subhanallah. So how important is our character? It's going to be the heaviest thing to go on your scale. It is the thing which the Prophet said, the best of you have the best manners. And now the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that the most beloved to Allah are those who have good manners. So I am, how important is your manners? Also, collected in Bukhari, Muslim and Tirmidhi, Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu an said, the Prophet alayhi salatu salam was never harsh. He was never obscene. He was never rude at all, at any time. Actually, we only know, as I told you all that were at the masjid yesterday afternoon, there was only one time throughout the entire seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that we see any flaw in his character. One time. And Allah revealed an entire surah about it. Who can tell me the one time that wasn't at the lecture yesterday because then you'll be cheating? Abasa wa tawalla. The one time the Prophet ﷺ frowned and turned away from the blind man, Allah Azza revealed an entire surah putting him back on that great character. So we see that the Prophet ﷺ had the best character. And he used to say that the best of you are those who have best manners, as we see here. Also, collected by Bukhari, uh, Abu Dawood and uh, Al-Hakim, the Prophet ﷺ says, as narrated by Abu Huraira, if one has good manners, if someone has good manners, they may obtain the same reward as someone who spends all night standing in salah. And someone who spends all day fasting for the sake of Allah, 
someone who has husnul khuluq, good manners, may receive the same reward as that person. So you may spend all night in salah, all day fasting, but someone who has good manners may receive the same reward as you. Subhanallah. Also, the Prophet ﷺ reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu an that the Prophet ﷺ was asked by Abu Huraira. And this is one thing I love about Abu Huraira radiallahu an. He was someone who wanted to find the easy way to do good. And that is becoming of a Muslim. It is not becoming of a Muslim to always look for hardship. Wallahi, we are not looking for hardship. Is there anywhere in the Quran or the Sunnah you can find for me a dua that was taught to us to ask Allah, Ya Allah, give me hardship. Can you find it? No. Allah commands us, Qul, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab al nar. Oh Allah, give me the good of this life. So we don't want hardship, we want good. And if there is an easy way to do good, that is the way the believer looks for. Because this is something that has hikmah behind it, wisdom, finding the easy way to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Abu Huraira radiallahu an, he asked our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what will take me to Jannah the quickest? What is the fastest way for me to get to Jannah? Because if there's a quick way to get there, Abu Huraira wanted to go that way. And wallahi, if there's a quick way to get there, all of us should want to go down that path. So what did the Prophet ﷺ tell him? He told him the quickest way to go to Jannah and what will take you to Jannah the fastest is taqwa wa husnul khuluq. Having fear of Allah Azza wa Jal, having taqwa for Allah and having good manners. Those two things can take you to Jannah faster than anything else. Subhanallah. So how much does our character affect our deen? It affects all of it. Our character is like the glue that holds everything else together. With no character, you have no deen. With good character, you have good deen. A couple of more, inshallah. Also, we find reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, he was asked about doing good and doing good evil. What is khair and what is shar? What is good, what is evil? The Prophet ﷺ said, good is good manners. That good means good manners. So when Allah refers to good, He was referring to good manners, goodness. And when He said evil, shar is that which you do, which you would not want anyone to know about it. Something that you do that you would not like it if other people knew about it, that is evil. And good is good manners. Subhanallah.